Hey guys, XM127X here, and today we will be playing Moiraiah. At first I thought it was Mariah, but it's M-O-I-R-A-I, -I, so I don't know. I'm having to record this outside, so... Um, you might hear the occasional plane wind rustle. The plane just went by, so another one shouldn't go by for a little while. Okay, let's just talk to this priest. My prayers go to poor Julia. It's been a year since her husband passed. She hasn't been seen all day. I imagine she's grieving. Do you mind visiting her at her home? It's the house to the right as you leave her town. Okay. My mom needs to stay close to mama, otherwise she'll worry that we'll run off. Okay. Did your son hear did you hear about the boy? Julia lost her son in the cave shortly after her husband died. Poor Julia. I would never let my boys out of sight. Like, you're saying she's a bad parent? She let her out of sight? Sometimes daddy lets us pet the sheep on the head. They're so soft. I've pet a sheep before it's soft, but it gets all matted and stuff. So this is on the right, right before the turn. It's like a secret bookshelf. Picture of a shelf on the wife of a husband and a young boy. I wonder where they are. Dogs are doing something back there. What the heck, the bed's just like a, on the wall. Something popped up, I don't know what to do. Leave cabin, okay. I like this music too, it's like a harmonica. Okay, let's talk to the priest since he sent us. Julie's not home. Plane. Okay, fun fact while the plane's hit going ahead, overhead. Let me move the chair. Back here is where I filmed my first YouTube video. It's currently uh, put on private on the channel because I uh, don't want you guys seeing it, but um, that's right there, me and my sister. And we had the camera right over there. It's good times. That was like a year ago, a year and a half ago. Oops, bumped the mic. Julia's not home, maybe she's out by the farm. If you could find her, that would be appreciated. Okay, well, let's go this way then. To the farm. <laughs> look at these textures. I can't look up. Look. It's so simplistic, but there's a barn. Farm. Sheeps. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. That's a different sheep. Let's go inside the barn. Okay, it's locked. <laughs> I'm just waiting for a sheep to like talk like human. Oh, something's over there. Are you gonna talk human? Why would we poke the sheep? This is to poke the sheep, that's mean. I should be talking up to my microphone because uh, I had to turn the gain down because the wind and stuff, so I should be talking up. Hello, Mr. Gnome Guy. Picked up lantern on the stump. Okay. My brother and I were chopping wood when we heard moans coming from the cave. My brother went in to investigate. He should have been back by now. I'm worried. Can you check on him? There's a lantern behind you on that stump. Oop, got that already. Can I take the axe? Hello, plane? Can you leave? It's the same plane. It's like a, not a commercial plane. It's a, um, like a private plane. Or like the, the one, the smaller plane. Hello? Hey, you. Come over here. Hey, you. Did my brother send you? Bless him. The moans are coming from further down. I'd go in, but my sight's no good. You could take this knife. Who knows, you may need it. Why would I need a knife? Ooh, is this where um the little boy is? In the cave? Because the little boy's missing. Maybe this is where Julia is. Okay, let's go this way first. I don't want to get lost. I don't want anything to jump out at me. It's kind of scary. And this is how slow you, slur slow you turn. Yeah, slow. Come on. Is it someone like counting the days? Jeez. Hey, look, it's a pigeon or a rat. Same thing. <laughs> Pigeons are cute, though. Tools. There are tools leaning against the wall. It looks like as though they've been used to mark carvings onto the wall. Maybe little Billy did it. Was his name Billy or was it Jilly? I don't know. <laughs> There's a book on the top of this pedestal. It's labeled Farmers. There's a list of names inside. Rahim, Connor, Kristen. Your ma. How eerie. Your ma. 
Is that people who they've killed? Okay. Tree just hit itself. Why are you doing that to yourself, tree? You shouldn't hit yourself. Okay, I don't want to get lost. I kind of want to go forward, but at the same time, don't. Oh, wait, I thought it was a dead end. <laughs> so hard to control. Eh. Kind of reminds, reminds me of Pokemon. Not Pokemon Go. Ooh. Bones. Someone must have died here. The bones look as though they're a child, so maybe it's a little kid. Look into a hole. I can see something shiny. It's just out of my reach. Well, shouldn't the light be going into there? Come on, let's go. It's hard to control here. My phone. I don't have time to FaceTime. Okay, we're coming back in here. What, was I already here? So this is just an open square. Oh, jeez. Oh. You scared me. You're bloody. Are you, are you the person that killed the people? A farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Question. Why do you have a knife? I teleported bread. I heard moans. What have you done? I have done nothing but teleport bread for three days. Okay, I'll let him pass. <sighs> okay. Kind of scared of this room. Look, like another pigeon rat thing. Left room, left room. I heard like a cry. Like a sob. I'm scared. Is someone in here? The music slowed down. The music stopped. Okay, never mind, it's gone. Yeah, I definitely hear that. That's someone there. You gonna jump out at me? You're all bloody. Ugh, please help me, I'm in a lot of pain. I came in here to end my life. My name's Julia and I want to see my child and husband in heaven. Oh no, Julia. My husband was a miner in these caves. He spent three days mining for gold and then one day he found something. He found a golden nugget, but I thought we would retire, could retire and be comfortable for the rest of our lives, but he didn't trust me. He buried the golden nugget to spite me, then he disappeared. Everyone in the town heard about our good fortune. Was that that shiny thing in the, the, the hole? They thought I was rich. I was, so sh I was so ashamed that I couldn't tell them the truth. One day, my son wandered into the cave. He wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make everything better. Aww. But he never came out of the cave. I went to look for him, but I couldn't find him. Now it's too late. Now I have nobody. Will you help me? Will you help me end my life? No! Yes, click. No, I'm gonna go get help. Then leave me, you coward. Ooh! She spit blood at me. Wait. Am I that- is, is this like a continuous loop? Am I gonna go out and then be met by myself coming back in? If so, then there must- there should be a person over here somewhere. Ooh, I'm getting excited. I'm scared though, because what if he pops out at me? I don't remember going this way. You don't remember going this way. Oh, there is a farmer that looked like a farmer approaches. Why do you have blood? That's so cool. They're like asking. Do I have to answer? Wait, what's the last person like a what? Why do I have blood on my overalls? A lady, lady, spit all, spit all over me. She's crazy. Don't go forth. Why do you have a knife? It was given to me. The person was saying bread to me by a lumber jack. I swear I didn't hurt anyone. I heard moans. What have you done? There was a lady that tried to kill herself. I went back 
to go I went to go get help let me see what will happen to you what and that is where the story story shall end at least for now it's up to the next player of this game to choose your fate just as you choose for the previous player that is so cool so like do my answers go to the next person playing and I let the person go so maybe if I would have attacked him he would have died and then maybe who's gonna decide for me how, would, how do we know that enter your first name oh there's name there's names in the book that I read were those people putting in their names here email address okay I'm gonna put it in but I'm gonna have to blur it okay I'm gonna blur it you will be emailed about your fate. Thank you for playing. Press space to submit your details. Story. Storing to outcome data. Outcome to database. Oh, that was so cool. Whoa. That's really cool. So I guess the last person that played the game came to, uh, let's check it behind me, play the game and answer the questions and I got their answers and then the names are stored in that book. Okay, so after recording this, I went to go and watch Jacksepticeye. Jacksepticeye did a video on this too. I waited to watch it. And I left a comment on the video, and after two years of commenting and watching, he responded. He responded to my comment. Yay! I feel special. Even though he responds to a lot of comments, I still feel special because I would always post like on every single video for two years, and I always felt like I was getting drowned out by the comments. Man, that's cool. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video, uh, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.